In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Euclidean algorithm. Then at the end of the video, I will also show you the Python code. Let's say that we want to find the GCD of 414 and 662. The first step is to take the larger number, which is 662, and divide it by 414, which will give you approximately 1.59. This means that 662 is equal to 414 times 1, and this one comes from this one here. And because we are getting a decimal, this means that there has to be some remainder, so plus x. If you solve for x, you will get 248. We are almost done. The next step is to take the number 414 and drop it down here. So we take this, we put it down here, and then we take 248, we put it down here and repeat the process. So take 414 divided by 248, and that gives you approximately 1.66. Take number one, put it into the parentheses, and then find the remainder. So if you find the remainder, you're going to get 166. And repeat this process. So take 248, drop it down here, and take 166 and drop it down here. And then take 248 divided by 166. That gives you approximately 1.49. Take number 1, fill it in here, and then find the remainder, which is 82. I know you might be wondering, when are we going to stop this process? Well, we're going to stop when we get the remainder of 0. So continuing on. We take 166, drop it down here, and same thing with 82, and then take 166 divided by 82, which gives you about 2.024. Take the number 2, put it into the bracket, and then find the remainder, and that's going to be 2. And again, take 82, put it down here, take this number 2, put it down here, and then 82 divided by 2 is equal to 41.0. So take 41, put it into the bracket, and then find the remainder, and turns out that the remainder will be 0. At this point, you can stop here, but there are some teachers who want you to write one extra line. Take the number 2, put it down here, take the number 0, and put it down here. And I'll explain why in a second, but when you do this, then these will be blank. You don't need to fill in these numbers. The result is that the GCD of 414 and 662 is number 2. And this number 2 comes from the last line here. And as you can see, all of this takes only 6 steps to do, which is not a lot. That's very, very fast. Sometimes on the exam, they might ask you to fill in the table like this. So this is the table that you will fill out. And as you can see, you still have the drop down like this. So take this number, drop it down here. And it's pretty straightforward until you get to the very last line. Let's go over the Python code very quickly for the Euclidean algorithm. So that would be the GCD function. It takes in two numbers, A and B. The first step is to make sure that both of these are positive. So you can use the absolute value function to make the number positive. And then x will be the largest number out of these two. And y will be the smaller number. So while y is not equal to 0, so we're going to repeat this process until we get y is equal to 0. So this is when we stop. We find the remainder. So to do that, you can use the modulus sign, and that's basically the percent sign. Basically, this is the arrow part. So you take y, you put it into x. So this is x equals y. And then take r, put it into y. And that is y equal r. And at the end, when y is equal to 0, you will return whatever value you have here. So return x. What is the runtime of the code that we just saw? Well, the runtime is going to be log of a or log of b, whichever value is smaller. So you can combine this together, and that's going to be big O of log of min a b. The last thing I want to do today is explain how to find the LCM of two numbers. So this here is the formula to find the LCM. We already know how to find the GCD. So let's say we want to find the LCM of these two numbers. 
The first step is to take these two numbers and multiply with each other, and we are going to get 274,068, and then we find the GCD, which is 2, then divide both sides by 2, and you get 137,034. And that is the LCM of these two numbers. And that's basically it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope everything made sense. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with any classmates who need help on this topic. In the next video, we're going to talk about the extended Euclidean algorithm. And it is very similar.